Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, and we are back with another episode of Watch Dogs 2 Redo. And we're here to do the False Prophet's main mission. As usual, in between episodes, Marcus has been out there doing some work and upgrading his skills. So hopefully, this mission will go fairly easily. Let's talk to Satara. New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown. Annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. <sighs> Rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest-profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean... When I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Shh, nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, please. there's gotta be another way, all right? I don't know. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay. We focus on Cisco. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center. We just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DedSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DedSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Okay. It's time to meet Satara at the New Dawn protest. to say it's certainly a lot more fun playing the game the second time around now that I know what I'm doing sort of but unfortunately it's been a few years so I'm still playing catch up but hey I've enjoyed it I'm enjoying it still all right Satara This is you over here. And let's try some fast travel. All right, we're in Japan town. 
Let's see if I can lift a car here. And uh, as I've said earlier, he's done some work. He's improved his skills, so he can now just hack a car just like that. The cutscene that is going to turn from Gotta night to day. Damn this fucking Let's lighting. take a look. Buy oh no, it didn't it change. Okay. Buy it only costs your life savings. It only costs your life savings. Distracting enough for you? You gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. <laughs> Buy enlightenment. It only costs your life savings. So it looks like Marcus was able to recover most of his original All right, I'm clothing heading in. I'll he dig up what lost. I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. All right, let's see how we can get in here. Hell yeah. So fucking typical. Just gotta come along and ruin everyone's day. Damn! Hey! the people in white that were uh oh seeking confirmation all right well oh look a back door an open back door come out with your hands up no location on the suspect. Moving on. Oh, I not tell you. Possible targets near location. And reinforcements have been called. Let's, let's see how good the stealth is in this game. I am completely hidden in this bush. I had an earlier encounter where uh, they were able to see me. This doesn't have to end in violence. Huh, looks clear. I'm going to check another area. Looks clear. Going to check another area. Man, they are so bunched together, though. I bet he's long gone by now. You catch that? You're okay. You're okay. Oh, um. Uh, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, right. No, please. Hey. 
Hey, no big deal. Just relax, okay? No way! No way in hell! Oh, oh, uh, there. Uh, Spread out and track him down! In violence. Come out with your hands up! Okay, who, who is out here that can see me? What is this, a suspicious car? A police cruiser, okay. All right, let's get in there. Profile data is upstairs. Yeah, probably where that guard is going right now. Take you down? No, I don't think you will. wakes up. Somebody down there. I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. 
They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy, right. Right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session. If you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. All right, we need to go and interview Jimmy Siska. this guy hey ghoul what's up I managed to snatch some new dawn clothes for you gotta look the part right nice thanks man no worries give him hell look at the body language yes. hi I'm Jason Lowell. Huh. <laughs> I'm here for your audit. Okay, Jason Lowell. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. He's really All right, uh, let's get started, huh? Yeah, my sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, wow. doubts is a a strong word. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> but that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Ah, uh, the... The, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! <laughs> All right. All right. I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. Jimmy Siska in the Red Room. The Red Room seems to be some kind of rehab center where they send problematic church members. People who go there, sometimes they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus? All the way. How did you get my number? Right, I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room, Miranda? Texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info. Uh -huh. 
I think that's something that I don't remember anyway, that they never explained his relationship with Miranda because they seem like they know each other from the past and I don't know what that was all about. It again would have been a nice detail for us to have about Marcus because we know pretty much next to nothing about him. So, you know, I, I don't know. Right, yeah, just pull out in front of me. And, oh, wow, she's way over here. All right. Well, what we're going to do is in this episode here, and when we continue, we will meet with Miranda. So this is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>